What separates the good soccer players from the great? And the great from the truly world class? Is it technique, passion or natural athletic ability? Could it simply be a coaching thing or is there something more? Is there something that is being overlooked by coaches and players as they go through their development? We all know that to make it as a pro you must have great technique and a passion for the game. We also know that top coaching can help. But, what truly separates someone like Ravel Morrison, whose ability and love of the game are undeniable, from Lionel Messi, who has changed the way football is played forever, we could use a generic term such as mentality, or look more closely at the 2012 Swedish study, which found the best players in the country scored higher on specific cognitive tests than those in the lower leagues, proving to the world that to play at the very top. You need great coordination and fast decision-making skills, as well as the ability to forward plan and process numerous bits of information at once. However, what if we took this even deeper? We have all seen so-called lesser teams compete with the very best, only for them to crumble in the final moments of the game. For 70 minutes you wouldn't be able to tell them apart. Technically they all look sound. Their organization, overall ability and decision-making skills look great, but for some reason it all seems to fall apart. Many people will look at this scenario and say, it's a fitness issue, or that the lesser team has performed above their capabilities, and just couldn't sustain it for the full 90 minutes. But, is it really that simple? At the professional level fitness should not be an issue. And, I would not say that players, playing against players from the same league, are necessarily performing above their level. However, it is their ability to mentally sustain this high level that makes the difference. I say mentally rather than physically. Because we have already seen that cognitive skills make a big difference when it comes separating professional players from the semi-pros and the amateurs. But, to go from good to great to world class, your mind must be able to maintain these cognitive skills for 90 minutes, week after week, day after day. Unfortunately, just like the body, the mind can tire. Decision making can slow down, judgment can get skewed, and cognitive functioning can decrease. It's here where the very best excel. It's here that the likes of Messi do their damage. This ability to keep the mind hyper-focused on the task at hand. No matter what is happening around you is known as brain endurance, and training in this area is becoming more and more mainstream as a sports development and scouting tool. Companies such as Soma, that specialize in brain endurance training, say they can predict how an athlete is going to perform in the coming season by using specific brain endurance tests. It's a claim which has seen them work with players from the NBA, several Olympic teams and the Red Bull High Performance Center. Of course, there will be those that say, this is a fad. Because nothing can replace physical training sessions on the grass for real improvement. And I agree. The point of this type of training isn't so you can spend less time with the ball at your feet. The idea of brain endurance training is to maximize your mind so that time on the training pitch is more productive and that decision making during matches is kept at a high standard from the first minute to the very last second. How young can we start BET? BET should not been seen as an elite exercise. That's only suitable for the professionals trying to find an extra edge. In fact BET should be and can be used from the earlier stages of player development. For example, imagine taking on two new under 8 players. Both of the same age, with similar physical attributes and a passion to play. However, one of these kids struggles during certain parts of training. They forget instructions and lack the mental stamina to complete a full session, while the other child picks things up quickly and effortlessly seems to progress. Now imagine being able to work on their mental capacity to focus, learn and improve. Now you have two players that developing at a quicker rate, that is what BET is. What is classed as BET? BET is essentially all about exercising the brain, once fatigue is starting to set in. This can include coordination games, as well as memory, training and forward planning tasks. These things can be included in a standard training session, but should be used on the back of a particularly tiring drill, or systematically, throughout an entire session. 
A good game for this is soccer tic-tac-toe. It involves memory, forward planning and quick decision making, and can be used after every drill as the session progresses. The idea is to see how well the players do the more tired they get. Can they stay focused? Can they still make the right decisions? And do they improve over the days and weeks? However, the real beauty of BET is that it can be done away from the training pitch and is proven to have a positive knock-on effect for overall performance. The Ukrainian boxing team are massive believers in this type of training and have a specialist that sets up specific sessions for their numerous world champions. However, you don't need a specialist to get the most out of brain endurance training. Chess, for example, is a phenomenal exercise for the mind and should be encouraged to all young soccer players. There are also amazing brain training apps that include reaction games, memory games, and visual acuity games. Juggling is another great brain training action that has been scientifically proven to increase the amount of gray matter in your head. For those of you that aren't convinced about the worth of training the brain then, take a look at Thomas Tuchel's methods, which are seen as eccentric but highly effective. As part of his session Tuchel has been known to make players hold a tennis ball in each hand. What this does is increase the load on the mind by giving it one more thing to assess. One more action and one more sensation to process. If players can still perform their high quality soccer actions with this sensory overload, then they are increasing their brain endurance. Of course, BET is not the only thing you need to become great, but it is becoming a key part in player development. As coaches you need to look at it, understand it, and see where you can fit it into your current theories and strategies. As the mind is set to be the next key component to creating world-class talent.